सो आ गुड इवनिंग गाइज आई एम हेयर टू वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल वट हैपन सिर्फ सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सोलर पैनल्स वट इज सोलर पैनल्स एंड हाउ दे वर्क बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव एन क्वेश्चन फॉर यू कैन यू फाइंड आउट हाउ मच टाइम्स आई यूज सोलर वर्क इन फुल वीडियो इफ यू नो दैन लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन इफ यूर कमेंट इज राइट आंसर इज राइट दैन यू विल गेट आर शाउट आउट इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो so let's start the video without wasting any single second so firstly we going to discuss what is solar panel right so friends a solar panel is a panel that is designed to absorb the rays from the sun and converted it into the electricity and it is a photovoltaic module photovoltaic module is a photovoltaic cell that is mounted on the framework so when we join number of photovoltaic cells on the framework then it's made solar panel it is also separated by the semiconductor materials like silicon so the silicon is act as conductor as well as insulator but according to some conditions and this all things solar cells and the framework is protected by a tempered glass on it So let's move to the our next question that is how a solar panel work so friends the sun emits three type of radiations first one is uv second one is visible and third one is infrared so our solar panel only use visible radiations and other radiations that is uv and infrared it pass through the solar cells without any effect if we go in depth we can found that the solar cell is made up of three layers first one is top second middle and third bottom so first and top layer doped guys a doping means adding of impurities so that is doped by the help of phosphorus that is an electron sufficient so it will easily absorb the electrons due to efficiency of absorbing negative charge we named this as a n type conductor right in same this way the bottom layer that is made up of silicon that is doping by the boron by this it gets sufficient holes or absorption of positive ions so by this way we doping the silicon in our bottom layer due to missing electrons our bottom layer are sufficient to positive charge or absorption of positive ions and this layer is by named as p type conductor so it's our full conductor first in n type and the middle layer is depletion and the last one is the p type semiconductor it's made our a uh, whole conductor so in the top layer guys we do soldering with the help of the silver and in bottom it's soldering of the aluminum layer so when the spectrum of visible light strike with the surface of the n type conductors its wavelength is almost around 350 to 1200 nanometers that's get absorbed easily in the n type when this spectrum reach our middle layer that is depletion layer it start knocking out the ions so the ions with the negative charge it start moving in the n type and the ions with the positive charge it start moving towards the p type and by this way the electrons get transferring into the n and p type conductors after repetition of this process again and again till our both layers get totally filled so then we join the circuit one wire with the n and the second wire with the p type by this way ions start moving in a direction and due to moving of ions we all know that electricity produce this electricity is in the form of dc means direct current and after that it moves into inverters and converted into the ac current means alternate current by this way guys our solar panel works so let's move to the shout out for the last video So shout out goes to Mr. Chinme Kumar. So a big shout out to you brother. So if you have any queries about solar panel, so let me know in the comment section. So that's for today video guys. I hope you guys like the video. If you like then like, comment and share the video and subscribe the channel what happens see. So that's for today. Sayonara and signing off.